Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Few days back, I did a video on MEM0 and you can find that video here where I went into detail of its architecture, how to install it locally, what it's all about and we also saw some of the examples. I used OpenAI's model for that and for that of course you need a paid OpenAI's API key. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use Olama with MEM0. But everything good comes with a catch. Before I show you that, MEM0 provides an intelligent adaptive memory layer for LLMs by the way. And it tries to enhance personalized AI experiences by retaining and utilizing contextual information across diverse application. Another thing which we need to understand is that MEM0 is not a new project. It is simply a rebranding of previously called embed chain and I already have covered embed chain in multiple videos on the channel in the last few months. Embed chain readily worked with Olama and you could use not only API based model but also the Olama ones. Now here is the thing. These days, MEM0 is quite popular. If you go to their GitHub page, you will see that they already have around 19k stars on the repo. But the thing is that it normally only works with OpenAI's model properly or any API based model, especially when it comes to embedding. In order to work, this MEM0 or previously called as embed chain needs two models. One is a embedding model which is used to convert your normal text into numerical representation and the other one is the large language model. You can use Olama for the large language model part but for the embedding part unfortunately you still have to use OpenAI's embedding model. I have checked their repo, I have checked their documentation, you don't find any option of using embedding model from Olama which is a bit unfortunate because as long as you have to rely on OpenAI's API key, then it really doesn't serve the purpose. So let's hope that in the future they will be adding this Olama feature too. So until then, um, I think I will refrain from giving this repo a star. But other than that, stellar effort as usual. So let's go to my terminal and then we will see how to primarily use it with the Olama. On my local system, as you can see, I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GB VRAM NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Also, I already have Olama installed and let me quickly show you. So at the moment, I am running Mixtrol and Llama 3.1 and also an embedding model because I have been trying for the last four to five hours to get embedding working with it. Anyway. Uh, also, Mixtrol won't work with it. So you would have to use Llama 3.1 or any Llama based model. So I already have Olama running and it is uh, models are all already downloaded. If you don't know how to do that, I would highly suggest you check my channel and search for Olama and you should be able to download it, install it. And by the way, for the model, all you need to do is to run this command Llama 3.1 with the pull and it is going to download it on your local system. Let me clear the screen. Let me create a conda environment. I'm just calling it mem1 and then activating it. Let's wait for it to finish. And then I am just going to install two packages here. Let me clear the screen. First is uh, Olama and the other one is mem0ai. So let's wait for it to get installed. Shouldn't take too long. And that is all done. Let me clear the screen and launch my python interpreter to show you how this thing works okay first up let's import os and mem0 at memory and don't worry about these commands i'm going to put these commands in my blog and i will drop the link in video's description so that is done second let me set my open ai's api key i'm just going to set it in the environment within these double quotes so let me set my key and then clear the screen here. Next up, let's set our configuration for the Olama. So you can see that the provider is Olama here. Model I already have downloaded, which is Llama 3.1. And you can simply specify the latest tag. 
and then temperature this is the measure of creativity of the model the value is normally between 1 and 0 the higher the value the more creative the model will be and its responses will vary if you lower it closer to 0 it will be more deterministic and it will try to respond to you same every time and this is the number of max token it is going to put it in the output so let me press enter here and now let's instantiate this memory so i'm just going to provide this config which we have defined in the variable and that is all done memory is initialized and now we can add a memory or we can create a memory so for that i'm just going to put this i'm just adding this memory like likes to play cricket on weekends and then user id is ls and categories is hobbies and you can see that the memory is added now and now if you want to get all the memories which you have put all you need to do is to run this command m dot get all and then print all memory it is because we already have just added one memory here like plays cricket on weekends it has assigned an id to it and then from there you can just use this information in order to get this memory back for example if i want to just print this specific memory i just need to grab its id and then i can simply print this specific memory there you go so this is the whole memory which we have and just printed if you want to uh, print something like uh, hobbies or uh, ls hobbies then you can also uh, just give it a natural language prompt which it is going to find and give you back let me clear the screen more easier to read this is what i mean that related memories i have just given it ls hobbies and then the model our llama 3.1 has gone in with the help of this mem zero it has given us the memory you can even uh, update this for example if i just grab this id and then i just try to uh, something like i'll just say uh, update the memory and then memory updated successfully you can even delete that memory by simply providing the id here let me give the id and delete that by deleting this memory so the memory deleted uh, again if you want to delete all the memories by ls which i mean a single user all you need to do is to provide the user id something like that and it is going to delete it and then you can just print it again to see what is happening you see now it is empty because we have deleted all the memories by ls so the advantage here is that you can see that it is simple python code where we are using adding and deleting and updating the memories you can embed it in your application and there could be a lot of use cases you can use it with multi-level memory you can use it with adaptive personalization it is quite developer friendly api so the project is good but i think this thing about using or you know depending upon open ai's model for embedding is not really cool so hopefully uh, i am quite hopeful that they are going to fix this sooner uh, and i will drop the link to its repo in video's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching